What's up ladies and gentlemen? I apologize for not getting anything to you guys uh, within a couple of days. It's been a pretty uh, you know, busy last couple of days for me. But I had uh, found the time right now to come in front of you to review Olympus Has Fallen. Um, I should be able to get the Crude's review up as well, the, the animated feature film. But this is the Olympus Has Fallen movie review. So let's talk about Olympus Has Fallen. We've got Gerard Butler who plays this, uh, you know, ex-person who was, was used to work for the president, but then, you know, he comes back into play in this film. That's the basic story of the film. You've got this guy uh, who was working for the president. Something terrible happens. He stops working for the president for a couple of years or whatever it was, and then he, you know, technically, without spoiling anything, or this might be spoiling something, Olympus has fallen. You know, the, the White House is being taken over by uh, terrorists or whatever they are. So uh, Gerard Butler's character has to come back into play to save the president and to, and to save his son and to save everyone who they're uh, keeping cap captive, basically. Uh, so like I said in this film, we've got Gerard Butler, we've got uh, we've got Aaron Eckhart as the president, we've got Morgan Freeman as the the stand-in president for uh, you know the time being between or at the time this attack is taking place. Uh, so he's kind of calling the sh. But uh, overall, the acting is perfectly fine in this movie. You know, the I have no problem with the acting. The musical score, uh, as a whole, is pretty good. Uh, I have no idea who did the uh, the music to it, but per uh, especially the drumming in the film is uh, it's it's pretty good and enjoyable uh, to watch and listen to. Uh, which I uh, which I didn't mind. I really didn't mind the film at all. You know, uh, it, it was a good movie uh, overall. I do recommend it to everyone. Uh, I saw this film with my good friend uh, Ryan Abbott. As we all know, he uh, he uh, likes to uh, talk movies with me and uh, review them with me at uh, time to time. And uh, if I believe correctly, he gave the movie a five out of five. You know, if if I believe correctly, he, he gave it a five out of five, uh, just because you know he liked the. Uh, the performances, uh, the special effects were very good. Um, everything in this movie was good, you know. I mean, well, some of the special effects you could definitely tell that it's a, a green screen, you know, if, if that's what you're you're looking for in a film like this. You could definitely tell that it's fake uh, in some of the scenes with like the airplanes and, and things. You would know what I'm talking about if you saw the film. Uh, but just tiny little nitpicks. I mean, and the you know the runtime of the movie, like I, I says, two hours long, so you're gonna be sitting there for uh, two hours watching it. But it is entertaining, so you you shouldn't have any complaints with the film as a whole. It, it is you know obviously I, I did enjoy it, and I didn't think I was going to. You know I thought this was just gonna be a stupid action kind of crappy thing. But, you know, a lot of people have been comparing this to Die Hard, which I'm not, you know, I, I, could, I could see why. I really could see why they would be doing that. Uh, which, like I said, you know, it, it could be, you know, compared to something like that because it is overall a very good movie. Uh, I think all of you will enjoy it. Go see it. Tell me what you think about it and comment below. So I'm gonna be uh, giving Olympus Has Fallen a four out of five stars. That's right, a four. Uh, thank you guys for watching this review. Uh, if the cruise review is not up, I apologize for that, but uh, you could expect like a Les Mis or a Les Miserables Blu-ray unboxing, including the Lincoln and the Parental Guidance uh, Blu-ray unboxing. Once again, thank you for watching. Over and out.